crown him with many crowns, the Lamb upon his throne. Hark how the heavenly anthem drowns all music but its own. Awake my soul and sing of him who died for thee, and hail him as thy matchless king through all eternity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So we'd like to welcome uh, all those who are watching um, this, this Mass uh, through YouTube, and uh, just uh, offer up uh, these intentions for, for all your needs. So brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. With Paul, we set sail from Troas and took a straight course to Samothrace, the following day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, which is a leading city of the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We remained in this city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river, where we supposed there was a place of prayer. And we sat down and spoke to the women who had gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Thyatira and a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. When she and her household were baptized, she urged us, saying, if you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in its maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name with dancing, making melody to him with tambourine and lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. 
Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is glory for all his faithful ones. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Spirit of Truth will bear witness to me, says the Lord, and you also will be my witness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, he said to the disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I've said these things to you to keep you from stumbling. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, an hour is coming when those who kill you will think that by doing so they are offering worship to God, and they will do this because they have not known the Father or me. But I have said these things to you so that when their hour come, comes, you may remember that I told you about them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in our first reading today, we see that Paul and Silas, they were preaching. They were preaching, and there was a, a, a lady there. Her name is Lydia. Okay, And it says here, uh, he was, she was a worshiper of God. Okay? And, uh, and, and because of that, she was listening intently to Paul and Silas preaching. And the Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. So you see here, Lydia was a worshiper of God. You can't worship God without the Holy Spirit in you. Because in Scripture it says we worship God in spirit and in truth. This is already in Acts chapter 16. Okay, So it means the Pentecost already happened. That is, the apostles and Mary were the first who received the, the, the Holy Spirit. The, 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 the Holy Spirit. And, but the Holy Spirit was also given to other disciples. So I assume Lydia was one who, who, who received this baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's why when when she was listening to to Paul, the Lord opened her mind to be able to understand fully what Paul was saying and be able to apply it in her life. And and for us, the question that I would like to ask all of us is that when when we're, we're reading or when we're hearing the Word of God, are we understanding it? Because if we don't understand it, we won't be able to apply it in our life. That's why it's very important for us to be able to understand, really, what the Lord is saying. Now, I would like to recommend you to do three things. First one, first is you need to read. Read Scripture every day. At least 15 minutes. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, Bibles uh, reading the, 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 the Scripture in one year. You could download it and, and stick to the plan, okay? Read the scripture every day, a few chapters, okay? Now, if you miss one day or two, uh, it's okay, okay? You, you don't even need to make up for it. Just the, the following day, just, just 
you know, be faithful again in reading Scripture. Okay? And because the, the, the Scripture, the, the, the Word of God is active. Okay? It's alive. You know, it's not like dead letters. It's alive. Okay? So, so read Scripture every day. So that's one. Read. The second one is you need to pray. You need to ask the Holy Spirit to help you as you read Scripture to in, to, so that the Holy Spirit will enlighten your mind, so that the Holy Spirit will give you the gift of wisdom, the gift of understanding, the gift of knowledge, all those things, so that when you read Scripture, you'll be able to understand it okay, and be able to apply it in your life. The third thing is uh, I'll recommend to you is study Scripture. Okay. There's, uh, there's uh, different books or, that you could read uh, in order to help you study Scripture. One is the Navare Bible. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's, a, it's like a Bible study of, of different Scriptures there. So, Navare Bible, that's one. Um, the other one is the Catholic Commentary on Sacred Scripture. Excellent. You know, some of the, the authors of those books uh, were my professors in, uh, in seminary. Okay, so, so use that. The, the third book that I would like to recommend to you is read the Catechism of the Catholic Church. When you read the Catechism of the Catholic Church, it explains to you better uh, Scripture based on oral tradition, based on uh, how, how the Church has interpreted the, the reading. And also, it's so good, it's so beautiful reading the Catechism of the Catholic Church. You will, you will be able to uh, read also like... Uh, sayings or quotes from, from saints, uh, but also uh, writings from uh, church documents, uh, like encyclicals or from the Vet, uh, Second Vatican Council. When you read the Catechism of the Catholic Church, it will help explain better what's in Scripture. So uh, there's also a read the Catechism uh, in one year that you could download. Just, just, just read that also. It, 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 will, it will help you. Now, as you read as you pray and as you study, you will see how, in, you need to see the fruit, okay? And what's the fruit? The fruit that you need to see is transform lives, okay? The Word should transform you. It, will, it should help you become a better Christian, a better disciple of Jesus Christ, okay? And the, the other fruit that... that uh, uh, that you need to see in your life is that you can't help but share it to others what you are learning. You know, how, the, how, how Scripture, how the Lord is using Scripture to transform your lives. You can't help but share it. You, you want to share it. Okay? Another thing, uh, good, uh, another, uh, thing also is, will be good is that form groups. Right now, this lockdown period, maybe you could use Zoom. Get together with other people and study, study scripture. There's a lot of like Bible study program there. It's good for you to be with other Christians who are hungering uh, and thirsting uh, to understand scripture. And then as you, as you study it and as you uh, share what you're learning, you, you, will, you will learn more. Okay? So, so do that. Okay? So pr uh, read, pray, study. These three. And you will see the fruit in your life. Many have witnessed to their faith by their lives. Inspired by their example, let us pray to God our Father and say to Him, Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may work tirelessly in bringing God's message of repentance to those who seek the Lord with a sincere heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That statesmen, statesmen and politicians may become agents of Christ's truth through their honest way of living. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the trials and we experience ex each day may not discourage us but that our faith may grow through them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be strong in their faith and persevering in their hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of this Mass, for, uh, for, for Father Mark on the anniversary of his priestly ordination. Oh, so today is the uh, priestly ordination of Father Mark. Uh, I hope Father Mark is uh, joining us <laughs> in this. So please, please pray for Father Mark, you know, that uh, uh, he will have a quality time with his uh, uh, family. Uh, and also, you know, get the rest that he needs so that he, when he comes back, uh, he'll come back refreshed and ready for action. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Okay. So, Father, give us wisdom and courage through the Holy Spirit that we may be strong and faithful witnesses to your love in every circumstance of our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made, to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O comfort blessed, to thee we cry, thou heavenly gift of God most high. Thou font of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above and sweet anointing from above. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our debt, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, they took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Terence and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may we always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and grace they grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm right. not worthy that you, you should, should enter under my roof, roof but Lord, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Act of Spiritual Communion. 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. All to Jesus I surrender, all to Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence daily live. I surrender all, I surrender all, all to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all, all to Jesus, I surrender, Lord, I give myself to Thee. Fill me with Thy love and power. Let Thy blessing flow from me. I surrender surrender all, all to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant we pray that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries, may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so just like to encourage everyone to, to greet Father Mark, a um, uh, happy ordination uh, for, for him. You know, he's been a, a, ver a very powerful instrument by God, uh, especially to me. You know, uh, he has mentored me so much this, uh, this, this past few months. And uh, just continue to pray for him, you know, that the Lord will continue to use him in a very powerful way to bring many souls to Christ, to him. And uh, so, um, yeah, just, just, just greet him uh, uh, a happy anniversary. And uh, uh, we, we miss him, you know, uh, he'll be coming back to this parish uh, next week. Okay. Uh, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Crown him the Lord of love. Behold his hands and side, rich wounds yet visible above, in beauty glorified. All hail, Redeemer, hail, for thou hast died for me. Thy praise shall never, never fail throughout eternity.